In this demonstration, we examine some round objects as they are made to spin. An example that many are familiar with is a tennis ball, and in some instances, the spin imparted is top spin. If, on the other hand, the racket moves under the ball, we impart back spin. And so, in this case here, we're going to examine a dumbbell, which has some cloth wrapped around it. And what we want to examine is what way will it spin when pulled. So if we extend the cloth sufficiently and wait until everything is steady, as I pull the cloth uh, to the right as you look at it, um, we can anticipate the motion of the dumbbell. And sure enough, it is to the right. If, on the other hand, I turn the dumbbell upside down, and pull on the cloth, instinct tells us that backspin might be imparted to the dumbbell as one pulls on the tape. But surprisingly, the dumbbell follows the direction of the pull. And it's not just a matter of chance, it will do so consistently, and in both directions. There's no particular tilt on the table. Pulling in that direction causes the dumbbell to follow. Why should that be so? Well, there are forces at work uh, in the situation, and if we examine what they are, there's obviously the weight of the dumbbell downwards and a reaction force upwards. But in terms of the motion of the dumbbell, it's the pulling force and the friction acting against it that compete uh, and determine ultimately what happens. To see that in terms of a force diagram, you will see a pair of red arrows representing the forces at work. The red arrow acting to the right is the pulling force P, and the red arrow to the left is the friction force F. The line of action of the pulling force is a short radius length from the axle of the drum, but the friction force is a longer radius length from the axle. The turning effect of the two forces are therefore different. If, as in this diagram, the pulling force is not too large and the friction force quite large, then the turning effect of the friction force exceeds the turning effect of the pulling force, and so the motion is against our instinct and follows the direction of the pull.